What is up you guys, it's Ricardo here and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the 11 best tips for you to start making money online as early as today. The things that I'm going to be sharing are all things that I tried in the past personally and most of them I continue to do until today. So from my own personal experience I can vouch that every tactic discussed in this video has the potential to earn you money while you sit in front of your computer from the comfort of your couch. These are legitimate ways for you to make anywhere from $20 an hour to $300 an hour. If you're already a subscriber to the channel I want to thank you for coming back and watching this video and if you're new then welcome to the channel for those of you who don't know me my name is Ricardo Garcia and on this channel I share weekly tips on how to save more money and earn more money that way you can get to financial freedom faster so if you haven't done so consider subscribing to the channel so you're notified every time that I upload a new video Okay, so getting back to the video, I created a list of 11 ways for you to start making money online and I ordered that list using the following criteria. So I organized these tactics depending on two things. First, how much time will it require on your part? And secondly, how much earning potential each one of them has? Those towards the end of the list have the smallest earning potential but are the fastest for you to start. So they end up making great side hustle ideas. And those at the beginning of the list have the biggest earning potential for you, but require the most time and effort on your part. And most of these ones can allow you to quit your job and work from anywhere in the world as long as you have a laptop and a good internet connection. And because I know that most of you want to start making a couple of extra hundred dollars very fast, let's start with number 11. That's one of the easiest to start. And we're going to work our way down to number one. So number 11 is sign up for a website called Respondent. Probably the big majority of you have heard about filling out surveys online to earn a couple of extra dollars, but this is completely different. This isn't about watching silly videos or completing forms just for a couple pennies. Respondent actually pays you real dollars for participating in different studies. It's actually very possible for you to make $100 an hour or more. Actually, in their website, they state that the average payout is $140 an hour. So how does it work? Well, you sign up for Respondent, then you find and apply to participate in studies that you think that are a good fit for you. Then the researcher or the sponsor of the study reviews the responses and sends invitations to those they think they're the best fit for them. And if you receive an invitation to participate, then you choose the best time that suits you of those times made available by the researcher, and then you complete the study. And after you completed the study, you'll be paid the amount advertised via PayPal. I actually completed one of their studies last week and they paid me $100 for 60 minutes of my time. I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the same study that I took a week ago, just in case you want to check it out. So moving on to number 10, we have a company called Turo. If you don't own a car, you can skip this one, but if you do own one, you might want to stick around. If you don't use your car every day, then you might consider using an app called Turo to rent out your car to people who are visiting town and they're just in for a couple days and they need a method of transportation. If you go to their website, you can use this payment calculator to estimate how much you can be making by renting out your car. You can cover your monthly car payments or simply earn some extra cash by sharing your car on Turo whenever you're not using it. And the good thing is, if you're using the app to rent out your car, you cover up to $1 million in liability insurance from Liberty Mutual. And your car is also protected against theft and physical damage. Okay, so let's move on to number nine, which is selling your stuff on eBay. I want you to take an afternoon to go through your closet, through your garage, or basically your entire house, and look for things that you no longer use. Because we as humans, we tend to accumulate so much material things throughout the years and we don't even realize it. So why not sell those and get some cash for it? Get that old TV, take a couple of pictures of it, upload it to eBay, do some research to find out how much are other sellers selling the same TV for and put a price to yours. And you only have to wait until buyers start contacting you. And you can do the same for old book collections, game consoles, exercise equipment, couches, mattresses, you name it. It's a very easy way for you to get a couple hundred dollars in cash. And if you have a lot of things to sell, maybe you can get even a couple thousand dollars. Okay, number eight now. And I'm gonna be combining this one with number seven because they're pretty similar. So eight is using Fiverr and seven is using something called Upwork. Let's start with Fiverr first. Fiverr is simply a marketplace where you can go and sell your services online. And you sell them typically for $5. That's why it's called Fiverr. But these days, most people charge way more than that. You can offer services like logo design, creating social media posts, doing transcripts, graphic design, voiceovers, and that's just to mention a few. Go to fiverr.com, create your account, and start offering your services. 
All you have to do once you created your account is go and look out for gigs and apply to them if you feel that you can deliver what they're asking for. And that leads us to point number seven, which is doing something very similar, but through a different platform. And that platform is called Upwork. The only difference is that Upwork is a little bit more high end. Therefore, you might be paid a little bit more than on Fiverr. Of course, that's all going to depend on the services that you offer and the demand for those services. I've seen people in there charge up to $400 an hour for consulting. And yeah, maybe their calendars are not booked every day, but if they do three or four sessions every month, they're cashing in over $1,000 as a side gig. However, I want you to know that Upwork takes 20% of what you bill a client for the first $500 in contract that you do for them. Then they take 10% up to the next $10,000 that you bill the same client. And from then on, anything that you bill them, they only take 5%. And going back to Fiverr, they take 20% of your paycheck for each gig that you do for every client. And I've seen a lot of people complaining about these fees, but think about it. They're providing you the platform to connect you with those side gigs so that makes it way easier for you to find a job. Therefore, you don't lose any time looking for clients. Just think how much time they're saving you from going out and getting new clients. So I think it's fair that they actually take that amount. Okay, so number six, if you like to teach, then you can consider becoming a tutor online. And you can do so by signing up at check.com and offering tutoring services based on your areas of expertise. From check.com, you can expect to make around $20 an hour, which is pretty good for being an online tutor. If you like tutoring, you can consider teaching English as a second language. EF is an online teaching company that pays you up to $2,000 every month for being one of their English tutors, which makes it a great side hustle with lots of earning potential. Okay, so number five is starting your own YouTube channel. If you're comfortable being in front of the camera and you have a lot of valuable content that you can share with the world, why don't you start your own YouTube channel? There's some YouTubers out there making a killing on YouTube. And I'm talking about millions of dollars every year, although that's only a handful of them. However, you can still make a good living sharing your best content on YouTube. There's a lot of creators out there who make four figures every single month in ad revenue and sponsorship deals. But I must warn you, making a living on YouTube is not easy by any means. YouTube is a game for the long run. You have to be creating content consistently and building an audience for maybe a month or even years before you even start to monetize on the platform. As of 2019, in order to monetize your channel, you have to have reached 4,000 watch hours in the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. When you accomplish that, you'll be paid on the amount of impressions that your videos get. That's when somebody watches an ad or clicks on an ad that's displayed on your video. But if you're able to get to that point, YouTube is actually very generous because they only take 45% of the ad revenue generated and they keep it for themselves and they pay you the other 55% of the ad revenue. That's not bad, right? Well, having a large following on YouTube or a big influence in your industry can open many doors for you to make money online. One of those doors is the ability to sell courses online. If you're knowledgeable in a specific area, people will pay you money to tap into that knowledge. And the best way for you to deliver that knowledge is by creating an online course. It's a lot of work up front. You have to come up with a list of content. You have to create the scripts for each video. You have to film those videos, edit them. And once everything is ready, you still have to distribute and market your course. But the reason why an online course is so powerful is because you can create it once and then focus your time completely on selling it. Yeah, you'll have to improve your course and optimize it over time, but I'm sure that won't take you more than a couple of hours every six months. That means that if you go on vacation or you're spending time with your friends, or even if you're sleeping, if you have automated the processes, you'll see those sales rolling in no matter what you're doing. And with that, we only have two more points to discuss. So number two is building a digital marketing agency to serve small businesses. The secret to making money is to become valuable. And what is the most important thing that every small business wants? More sales, right? But for small businesses to stand out from the crowd and get more sales in the 21st century, they need to be able to be found online. So if you know how to use Google ads or Facebook ads, then you'll become an invaluable asset for any of these small businesses. And they'll gladly pay you forever 
as long as you continuously help them to bring more sales. I started my own digital marketing agency about four years ago and it has bought me the freedom to work from wherever I want. From my experience, depending on the services that you offer, the average customer will pay you anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000 every month. And that's on retainer. So if you manage to have five paying clients at the same time, that could mean $8,000 to $10,000 rolling in every month. And that's a six-figure business a year right there. If I say it like that, it does sound easy, but don't get me wrong, it's actually a lot of hard work because you constantly have to bring them results. There are some times where you're gonna be working 50, 60, and 70 hour weeks, but there's nothing better than working on your own terms. And with that, we finally made it to point number one on the list, which is starting your own e-commerce brand. I saved this one for last because it's actually one of the few things that you can pursue online where you won't be tied in trading your time for money and therefore you can scale an e-commerce business as much as the market allows you. But remember that once you enter the e-commerce industry, you'll be competing with giants like Amazon and eBay. So the only way for you to differentiate yourself is to build your own brand. And yes, if you're selling generic products, these giants will beat you. And that's simply because they have more advertising budget than you do, they can undercut your prices, and in the end, they can deliver their products faster to their customers than you can. But there is one way that Amazon or eBay can compete with you. And that's if you build a brand that people are loyal to. When you have a unique product, and trust me, a brand makes it unique, then people are gonna be willing to pay more for your product, they'll refer it to more friends, you'll end up having a lot of repeat customers, and most of them will be willing to wait longer shipping times just to get your products in their hands. So do you have an idea of a product that you wanna sell? Why not try it out? All you need to do is find a good supplier, have a bit of knowledge of marketing, and build a solid website to sell your products. I know people personally who are making five to six figures every month in sales, and they're under 25 years old because they started their e-commerce brand. So if they can do it, why can't you? Okay, those were the 11 best ways for you to make money online. I hope you enjoy them and that you go out and try at least one of them. If you'd like me to create a video explaining one of those ideas in detail, just leave a comment down below with your favorite idea and I'll consider making that video. Maybe I can make a step-by-step -step guide for you guys to follow and bring your idea to reality. If you haven't done so yet, remember hitting that like button because that helps with the YouTube algorithm. It tells YouTube that this is a good video and it will show it to more people, so I would appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, Click here and hit that notification icon. That way you're notified every time that I upload a new video. Again, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week.